Today I will be talking about one of the most frustrating skin condition that affects millions of people worldwide, hormonal acne. I am going to break down the science behind what's really happening in your skin and share evidence-based strategies to help you take control. First, let's understand what we mean by hormonal acne. While all acne involves some level of hormonal activity, hormonal acne specifically refers to breakout that are primarily driven by fluctuating hormone levels in your body. This type of acne typically appears along the lower face, your jawline, skin and sometimes your neck because these areas have higher concentration of oil producing sebaceous gland that responds strongly to hormonal signals. The main culprit behind hormonal acne are androgen, a group of hormone that include testosterone. While we often think of testosterone as a male hormone, women produce it too, just in smaller amount. When androgen levels rise or when your skin becomes more sensitive to these hormones, several things happen that create the perfect storm for acne formation. Here is what's actually happening in your skin when hormones trigger acne. Androgen like testosterone and its more potent cousin dihydrotestosterone binds to receptor in your sebaceous gland. This binding acts like turning up a dial on oil production, causing your skin to produce significantly more sebum than normal. But it's not just about the quantity of oil, the quality changes too. Research show that hormone fluctuation alters the composition of sebum, making it thicker and more likely to clog your pores. At the same time, androgen affect how your skin cells shed, causing them to stick together more easily and block hair follicle. There is another key player in this process, insulin-like growth factor 1 or IGF-1. Studies have found that people with acne often have elevated level of IGF-1 which not only stimulates oil production but also enhances the activity of enzymes that convert testosterone to more powerful dihydrotestosterone. This creates a cascading effect where hormones essentially amplify each other's acne promoting effect. You might wonder why some people seem to have perfect skin despite going through the same hormonal changes as everyone else. The answer lies in individual sensitivity and genetics. Research indicate that people prone to hormonal acne often have more androgen receptors in their skin or skin that's simply more responsive to normal hormone levels. It is important to note that you don't need abnormally high hormone levels to develop hormonal acne. Many people with this condition have hormone levels that fall within the normal range, but their skin is just more sensitive to these hormones. This is why hormone blood test often comes back normal even when someone is clearly experiencing hormone related breakouts. Now let's talk about something you can actually control, your diet. The relationship between what you eat and hormonal acne is backed by substantial scientific evidence and understanding this connection can be a game changer for your skin. Food that cause rapid spike in blood sugar, think white bread, sugary snacks and processed food can significantly worsen hormonal acne. When your blood sugar spikes, it triggers a cascade of hormonal responses including increased insulin production. High insulin levels can amplify androgen production and make your skin more sensitive to these hormones. Multiple studies have shown that following a low glycemic index diet can reduce both the number and severity of acne lesions. The evidence linking dietary consumption to acne continues to grow stronger. Milk naturally contains hormones like IGF-1 and various growth factor that can stimulate oil production and inflammation in the skin. What's particularly interesting is that skim milk appears to be more problematic than whole milk, possibly because the processing removes more protective fat while concentrating the acne promoting proteins. If you're struggling with hormonal acne, consider reducing or eliminating dairy for 6 to 8 weeks to see if it makes a difference. On the positive side, food rich in omega-3 fatty acid can actually help reduce acne inflammation. Fish like salmon contains compounds that counteract the inflammatory pathway activated in acne. Studies have shown omega-3 supplementation can reduce inflammatory and non-inflammatory acne lesions. Beyond diet, several lifestyle factors can significantly impact your hormonal balance and consequently your skin. Chronic stress is one of the most underestimated trigger of hormonal acne. When you are stressed, your body produces more cortisol, which can stimulate oil production and worsen inflammation. Stress also triggers the release of other hormones that can directly contribute to acne formation. Incorporating stress reduction techniques like meditation, regular exercise, or even simple breathing exercise can help stabilize your hormone levels and improve your skin. Poor sleep doesn't just leave you feeling tired, but it also affects your hormone levels. 
Sleep deprivation disrupts the delicate balance of hormone in your body including those that regulate oil production and skin repair. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night and establish a consistent sleep schedule to help regulate your body's natural hormone rhythm. Regular physical activity can help balance hormone by reducing stress and improving insulin sensitivity. However, be mindful of post-workout skin care. Always cleanse your skin promptly after sweating to prevent pore clogging. When it comes to tropical treatment, certain ingredients have proven particularly effective for hormonal acne, retinoids. The vitamin A derivative are considered the gold standard for acne treatment because they address multiple aspect of acne formation. Retinoids normalize the way your skin cell sheds, prevent pore clogging and have anti-inflammatory properties. They are especially effective for hormonal acne because they can counteract some of the effect that androgen have on your skin cell behavior. Sialic acid This beta hydroxy acid can penetrate into oil filled pore and help dissolve the build up that leads to breakout. It's particularly useful for managing the excess oil production that characterizes hormonal acne. Benzoyl peroxide While primarily antibacterial, benzoyl peroxide can also help reduce the inflammation associated with hormonal breakout. Start with lower concentration to avoid irritation. For moderate to severe hormonal acne, professional treatment can be incredibly effective. Sprinolactone. This medication works by blocking androgen receptor in the skin, essentially preventing hormones from triggering excess oil production. The recent clinical trial have shown that sprinolactone is not only effective but often superior to traditional antibiotic treatment for adult female acne. The improvement tends to be gradual with many people seeing significant result after 3 to 6 month of treatment. Hormonal contraceptive. Certain birth control pill can help regulate the hormonal fluctuation that trigger acne. Combined oral contraceptive that contains both estrogen and progestin are most effective because they reduce androgen activity. However, it's important to choose the right formulation as some type of progestin can actually worsen acne. Isotretinoin For several treatment resistant hormonal acne oral isotretinoin remains the most effective option it works by dramatically reducing oil production and can provide long lasting effect if you suspect you are dealing with hormonal acne here are practical approach start with dietary modification eliminating high glycemic food and reduce dairy consumption for 6 to 8 week simultaneously focus on stress management and ensure you are getting quality sleep For skin care, introduce a gentle retinoid product gradually along with sialic acid cleanser. If you don't see improvement after 2 to 3 months of consistent lifestyle and skin care changes, consider consulting with a dermatologist about prescription options. Understanding the science behind your breakouts puts you in control. You now know that hormonal acne isn't just about washing your face more or using harsher product. It's about addressing the underlying hormonal trigger through targeted dietary, lifestyle and treatment strategies. With this knowledge and consistent approach, clearer skin is absolutely achievable. Thanks for watching. If you find this content helpful, give a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting science content.